your hot and sexy breath up the city bird SUV. A new look top three for the Delhi Capitals for the first time this season and they fire to take the uh, Capitals to 191 after Rishabh Pant won the toss, chose to bat first, chose to come in at three himself. It's nice to see Pant with a significant score since his comeback. 51 for the Capitals captain, a half century by David Warner and Prithvi Shaw as well, just uh, making us have plenty to discuss on ESPN Cricket for Timeout. Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Cricket for Timeout. Tom Modi, Mitch McClanagan and Varun Aran. 191. Remind me again of pre-match predictions. Who's, who's come close? 184. 184. How are you? 180. 180. Yeah, Look at it. Okay, you're close. In which case, I'll take that half point. Thank you very much. In which case, uh, ESPN ES Cricket for win probability says 71.2% to Delhi. So is it 70% of the advantage, Tom Moody, to the Capitals after that score? Yeah, I think it's a good score. Mm. Uh, what concerns me a little bit is just looking a little bit of vision in between the innings. The ropes were being taken around the outfield, yes. which indicates there may be due or maybe they're just being diligent. I don't know. But mm. if there is due, you, t you need to factor in 15, 20 more runs on a total because it is that advantage. Um, in that situation. So, look, I think we're in for a game because that's a good score. And, uh, you know, Punt, you know, was uh, strong at the end, which, you know, boosted them into that 190 range. Yeah, I yeah. think it took 20, uh, from when he was on 23 runs, it took another eight balls for him to get to 50. So, that, that's what we've been asking for from Rishabh Punt. He's struggled to strike the ball the first couple of games, but tonight at the end, to accelerate that quickly, when the team needed it to get to a good score was sensational. Yeah, I mean, at one stage when Prithvi Shaw and Warner started, they were 103 for one just past the 10th over mark when Shaw's wicket fell. You sense after that, not having doubled with the wickets in hand, that Chennai might actually be okay with this score? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the middle order has gone at 18, 0, 7 and 9, yeah. which has always been a concern and which we've been talking about. Uh, the way, the way, Warner and Prithvi Shaw started, they should at least got to 200, I, mm. I would think, because wickets in hand, uh, any other team uh, having a solid middle order would have definitely got 200 at least. But uh, hats off to Pathirana, yes. those two balls were yeah. unbelievable, like especially the second Yorker was just, just tailed in so beautifully. Um, so yeah, I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due. Bowler's done, done a really good job. I don't think anybody could have done anything yeah. different with those two balls. Yeah. Go on, Pathirana's double strike could very well have a key save. It was high quality, wasn't it? Mm. Um, like you said, the game was starting to get away from them. Um, they built a great partnership. Um, and Mitchell Marsh was starting to look good in that partnership with Punt. And, geez, it, he, he kind of hadn't really tried to go for a Yorker up until that point. And the first one was right on the money to Mitch, uh, Mitchell Marsh. And that was fast 150. But then Tristan Stubbs Thank was you. so late on that second one. Just a little bit of tail in as well. Um, geez, it's, it's exciting to see someone bowling that fast. We saw it last night. Um, and then tonight, Paddy Rana said, hold my beer. Mm. Yeah, no, quality. And just t takes you back to Malinga, yes. you know, which we've had the pleasure of watching for many, many years. Master that particular delivery. And it's just uncanny that they're similar actions. Uh, you know, both brought up with tennis ball cricket. So that particular delivery is, you know, you know what's in their DNA from a very young age. But uh, to see it, you know, in that situation against mm. high-quality opposition, both Stubbs and Marsh were in some good form, mm. and they were just totally dumb. Mm. Yeah, brilliant from Atisha Patirana, and that's why CSK want both him and Fizz in their eleven. We will see if that proves to be a decisive little spell where two of those last five overs went at five runs uh, and a couple of wickets that Tom Moody points. Patirana has had a big say in this game. The Panth innings, let's break it down. It didn't look like Panth had its flu and best initially, but just the finish to it, I'm sure that would have pleased a lot of Rishabh Panth fans, a lot of Indian cricket fans as well. Let's break down the Panth innings. I mean, we all said that he needs a bit of time in the middle. Today was that perfect time. I think he made a really good move by coming number three. Uh, that just gave him that extra bit of time to settle in, find his groove, assess the wicket, assess the conditions, and then go, which he, he did. Uh, he basically, after that, that four over, over cover point, that's when the bowler started to really 
really bowl into his zone, which is the leg side. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's Pant at his best, where he makes the bowlers bowl where he wants them to bowl, and he punished every single delivery after his first 23 runs, mm. uh, where he got off, where he got his 50 after eight balls to that. Yeah, this will be the feel good innings for him personally as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, it was quite a conservative start to the innings. You know, just to tick over a runner ball up to that score of 23 that you mentioned, Mitch, and then the next eight balls he faced, he got to 50. Uh, so he caught up. Yeah. But if Delhi Capitals lose tonight, they will look at the phase when Punt first came to the crease and Mitchell Marsh came to the crease and they were going a run at a ball for about three overs. Mm. True. Uh, and that's where the 10 runs light they True. potentially are in this situation. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, Prince Vishal. Take it away. It's exciting to see, wasn't it? Um, I think we were wondering why he wasn't in the side at the start of the season. Was Had Ricky put him into the bad boy corner mm. and said, right, I need you to be hungry. I need you to fight for your spot. And, and if that was the case, um, then I'll tell you what, he came out of the gates like a raging bull. He was exceptional tonight, he was. Uh, just timed the ball so nicely. Uh, he just put a lot of pressure back on, on the bowlers. And even when he mishit it, he still kind of held his shape, which is in time, years gone past, when Pritvi's been out of form, you've seen him open up a lot and lose, lose his shape through the shot. And I thought his, his mechanics with his batting were good tonight. Mm. Would you be pleased if you're a Ponting that leaving him out has worked? I'd be furious that this guy just doesn't play every single game with the ability he has. Well, I think Rick would be pleased regardless <laughs> that, you know, that, that he's got away and got some runs. But... We don't know the circumstances behind him not playing. So, you know, whether it was trying to motivate him, whether it was, you know, he had a little niggle or mm. whatever the case may be, or he just wasn't in their best team to start with, mm. which I think may just be the case in, the, in, their, in their minds. We obviously had a different view here, but, you know, we, yeah. we're sitting a long way away from the Delhi Capitals dressing room. True. Um, but at the, at, at the end of the day, we, we all know that he is a game changer and... Even those small impactful innings of quick 20s or, you know, like today, 43 off 27, yep. you know, go a long way to, to, to stabilising you to getting a good score. Um, I just wish that with, with pretty sure that people just accepted that he is going to be uh, either all or nothing. It's a bit like Maxwell in, in the early phases of his career. There's a lot of frustration around Max Walker's he would tease you with his brilliance and then deny you. And you'd be frustrated and then be thinking, right, you know, it's time to leave him out or, you know, he's, it's just a reckless shot. It's, you know, why is he playing such a, you know, ridiculous shot? But now people have accepted Maxwell. I think Pretty Shaw will go through the same journey. Something to add? No, I'm, I mean, it's true because, uh, like Tom said, sometimes when people are left out of the, of the starting 11 from the first match onwards, it could just be down to something as simple as form in practice games because obviously you don't want to leave out somebody like Ritri Shaw without any reason. So him coming good, uh, Rishabh Pant coming good is great news for Delhi Capitals. A mm. couple of comments coming through on our uh, live YouTube feed. Syed Gulam says 20 runs short. CSK will chase this easily. Okay. Mm. Let's see where that stands at the end. Naveen Sundar, were the two Yorkers the balls of the tournament so far? And his fellow fast bowlers, uh, which wicket does Mitch and Varun like the most? All right. Yeah, I'll probably go, I mean, uh, take the bowling out of it. I think the wicket I like the most was seeing MS Dhoni get 300 dismissals in T20s. So uh, from a significant factor uh, in terms of uh, a big milestone, mm. 300 dismissals is significant. Mm. Okay. I'll go with the second Yorker, man. I mean, I, I can't forget that. What are you ball. laughing about? It was a good catch. It was a good catch. Yeah, it wasn't those oh, balls. Although we're but... talking about the two balls. <laughs> I said, what wicket? There was, there was, what, there was six wickets. You had to get that stat out, didn't Six you? wickets. <laughs> it's a good stat. Who pays our advertising? <laughs> Uh, for, no, a loyal, I, ball, for a loyal yeah, MI yeah. fan, you have a lot of love for CSK. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, it was a great cat. Big edge. Of course it was. Uh, yes, uh, but yeah. Second ball, man. <laughs> Beautiful. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, 
that second ball was that second ball denied MS Dhoni of his 301st catch. Oh yes, yes. Course, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, mate. That's uh, <laughs> the Tristan Stubbs one. The Tristan Stubbs Yorker was the best wicket. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that's that. That's okay. That's okay. I sorry. think I think that was the hardest one to keep out out of the two. Mm. Yeah, two yeah. brilliant balls, Ooh. but that, the second one was by far the hardest to keep out because it was just that perfect length, wasn't it? Mm. And and to get a ball to tail when the ball's not reversing, it's yep. Excellent. Yeah. Quick question before we look ahead <laughs> to the chase: How much will Kuldeep's absence now be felt in this Delhi innings? We saw we made the dew point, but will they miss Kuldeep as much? Do they? Have the better bowling lineup if it is going to be conditioned uh, with you? Any team would miss Cool Deep, yeah, in my view. The, the, yeah. the form he's been in the last 12 months has been extraordinary. Mm. You know, his comeback yep. into, uh, you know, coming back as an international star spinner Good. is a great story in itself. Mm. Sure. All right. Ishan Sharma versus Rachin says Mayur Patel is a contest to watch out for. Um, and there's another comment that says Cool Deep's absence is going to hurt DC today. Right. Prediction time. Uh, we've already done a lovely segment on how to plan for Achin Ravindran and Ishan Sharma is a big player in that. As well as there are fields that were laid out. Please go check out the show uh, at 7 o'clock uh, if you want to just have a look at that as we get ready for Achin Ravindra Part 3. Mitch McClanagan, prediction. Oh, well, they were obviously warming up, so they didn't see the pre-show. So I'm picking Rachin Ravindra to get 60. Mm. Uh, and CSK to chase it down in the 17th. Over. All right. I'm just going to try and see if we can get a glimpse of who the impact player will be. It's Rusik. We thought it's Rusik. Have you it seen that? Rasik, All right. Yeah, so Rusik Salam will return to top flight cricket and the IPL for the Capitals today. Uh, yes, Tom Moody. Uh, Delhi Capitals to win Khalil. Wow. Khalil to take three wickets. Okay. And Varun Arun? Uh, CSK to win... Rituraj for more than 50. Okay, so two CSK, one DC. There's a nice last question I could take. Uh, it's a statement. We might finally see MS bat today. Will we see MS Dhoni bat today? Mitch, your favourite player, yes or no? Could <laughs> <laughs> it be his well, well, we're, we're definitely not if they chase it down in 17. It's his 300 innings as well, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all we've got time okay. for. Thank you, gentlemen. Always a pleasure. We pick up the chat at the end. Will the Capitals have uh, earned their first points of the season or will the defending champions make it three out of three? Uh, analysis, uh, anal analysis with Tom Moody, Mitch McLanagan and Varun Aaron. Here on Marathi Suzuki Arena presents the SPN Cricket for timeout. Do download the app if you want to revisit any of these uh, silly things that we say on the show that sometimes make sense uh, and you can get them fastest on the app. We'll see you at the end of the game. Bye-bye. SUV.